standing in front of the Studebaker Packard Corral, which is class 20 of the Sully Plantation car show on Father's Day, which happens every year uh, at the same time. And, um, sir, we noticed your Studebaker. Um, it's one of our videographer's favorite car. He grew up with it. And he absolutely loves Studebaker. So I'm like, oh, we have to pick a Studebaker for this. Sir, can you introduce yourself? My name is George Marshall. I live in Springfield, Virginia. And this is my Studebaker Hawk. It's similar to the one that I had when I was 18. Um, I had a, a 61 Studebaker Hawk that my mother was nice enough to buy. And uh, so I've named this car Lucy in her honor. And I've had this for about oh, a little over a year now. I've uh, been looking for a Studebaker Hawk like this for quite some time and finally found one last year. So you just acquired it a year ago. Um, tell us about your selection. How, how did you find it and a little bit, you know, what, what you went through as far as, you know, looking around and what were you looking for in a Studebaker? Well, I wanted a Hawk. Um, it, it, I was going to buy a different car than the one that I had and my wife and I were talking and I, she said, what do you want? And I said a 56 Chevy and she said, no, if you're going to get another car, you're going to get a Studebaker Hawk. She has good taste. So because she had seen the one that I had when I was younger and I said, okay, you're on. And I went to the computer and I turned it on and I pulled up Craigslist and there it was. And I said, I think I've found our car. And she said, so soon. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I think so. This was in Atlanta. And I have a friend who lives down there who went, I asked him to go and take a look at the car and he said, yeah, it looks pretty much like the pictures and so I went down with a check to Atlanta, looked at the car and paid the man and had it shipped back here. Now did you have to do anything to it or is this in the exact same condition that you purchased? This car was restored about 15 years ago by a couple out near Seattle and then sold about five years ago to the man in Atlanta. This is, this is how I got the car other than just cleaning it up I've done a few things to it. I've put different hubcaps and, and done some engine work and things like that. But this is basically how the car came to me. So there was no mechanical things you had to do to it or cosmetic things? Minor, minor mechanical. I've changed the ignition. I've put a, an electronic ignition in it. Um, uh, we've cleaned the car up. There's been nothing that it needed drastically. It was, it was a really nice driver. It's not a, you know, it's a pretty car, but it's not a show car if it was in a a real heavily judged show car, uh, car show, it wouldn't place very well, but it'll do well in, in shows where it's a uh, popular kind of a show. The people like the car, it's got a lot of eye appeal. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of the Studebaker? I mean, do you know much about the, the heritage of the Studebaker? Well, Studebakers started out, they, they built uh, Conestoga wagons for the pioneers to go across country, and, and so that's kind of where they started. And then they built, uh, during World War II, they built engines for bombers and some other things. But after the war, they brought out, in 1953, they brought what this car basically is. It had a slightly different hood, trunk, and no fins. And it was called the Raymond Lowy Coupe. It was designed by Raymond Lowy, a very famous designer. And then in, in 57, they came out with the fins. And, uh, and this is a 61. It's the last of these, this style fins and then and they came out with a slightly different roof line for another two or three years and then Studebaker folded um, in the mid 60s um, they uh, they just couldn't compete with General Motors Ford and, Chevro and, uh, and uh, Chrysler just couldn't do it you know at this time our economy is going through a tough turn so I was just wondering you know economically what's the gas consumption like on this beauty can you comment <laughs> It's, it's not dissimilar from what it was back in 1961. Uh, if, I, if I'm easy on the throttle, it'll get 18 to 20. If I'm not easy on the throttle, it'll get 10 to 12, 14, somewhere in that range. And it burns regular gas. It doesn't take high test. This just takes the lowest, uh, lowest octane at the pump, which I'm very glad. Um, and, it, and it just runs, you know, it runs like a dream. Well, it's 2012 here, so approximately how much would it cost to fill up this baby? Uh, it's a, 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 I think it's an 18-gallon tank at $3.50 a gallon, so you do the math. It's, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. Tell me about, you know, one of the things I love is 
a, something that ref basically makes a car stand out. I call it car bling. Can you tell me what your favorite little car bling is? The favorite thing for me on this car has always been back in 1961 and, and today is the dashboard. The dashboard is a machined aluminum dashboard. It looks like it came out of an airplane. It's got aircraft style gauges in it. Uh, and it, it, that was the thing back in 1961 that I saw this and, and uh, I said, that's it. I've just got to have it. And I've always liked that style dash. So that, that's the thing about this car to me that stands out as being probably the single most special design piece. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very Bye -bye. much.